eggs to grow. Um, so what you're going to do with this one, you see right here how there's that little black dot? Yes. And it has a number? Yes. Okay. So this you can dial. So you can dial it to your dosage. So if you go over the dosage, it's okay. You can go back and forth. Uh -huh. um, so your dosage is 225. So you're going to dial it to 225 right there. Take this off. And then you're going to take one of these little cute caps. Put this one here. Just kind of twist it on. Pull it off. Pull this off. And then here's a needle. Uh, pretend like this is your tummy. Just grab a little I wish bit. I wasn't that flat. Oh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> grab a little bit. Stick. Press. You're going to hear a tiny little click. Okay. Um, this one won't do it. It's empty because we've used it so many times in the right. demo. But what's supposed to happen is check this number again before you pull it out. It should go down to zero. Okay. So that's how you know that you've gotten all the medication. And then just pull it out. And uh, where's the. This oh, one. There we go. Yeah. This. Oh, well, don't do that. You know, I actually, you can just avoid that <laughs> the whole time. You just avoid that. Put this. Just this is supposed to twist off. Okay. It's really hard to get off. Sometimes you kind of gotta pinch it and then pull Got it. You. Yeah. But just you know. I'm sure I will stab <laughs> myself. I do it with my dog's diabetes. It does all the time. That was a close one. I missed myself, but thank God. <laughs> I mean, it's a demo, so there's nothing in it. But yeah. Then do you have a sharps container? I do have a sharps container. Okay. Yeah. Just toss it in there and. You're good to go for that one. Only side note on this medication, let's see, you have 900 IU pens. So that's the dosage, all the different doses in the pen. Okay. Um, this could apply to you if your dose stays at 225 because um, it may not be totally even out. Like if your dose was 300, right. you know you would use one pen for three days. But with you, so 225 plus 225 is what, 450? Um, 225, you know, it keeps going like that. Say you might have like 75 IU or so left in a pen, okay. and you don't want to waste that, so what you'll do is you'll dial it to your full dose, the 225, and then even if you know that there's not enough for that full dose in there, you'll inject it, and press, wait for the click, and then look at the number, and it won't go down to zero, but it'll go down to the number um, of what you still need for that okay. dose. So then you go to a new pen, dial it to whatever the number here says that you still need and inject yourself gotcha. with that. So in that case, you can do it twice for the one day just to get your full dose. But then the next day, you'll go back to 225 in that new pen. Gotcha. Um, you know, kind of annoying. You have to stick yourself twice that day, unfortunately, with the same medication. But right. I know. it is what it is. It is what it is. So just, right. just so you're aware of that. That is your Gommel F. Do you have any other questions about this little guy? No. No? Okay. I'm pretty good with that one. Actually, I'm pretty good with all of them. Okay, so yeah. They're, uh, as long as you're okay with the needles and you can kind of bear and grin and bear it. Yeah. My dog yeah. has diabetes, so I um, she's 12, and I told her we were going to be shot twins. So when Aww. she gets her medicine, I'll take Aww, mine. No. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm trying to find one that has... This is so much easier when you, have, when you do a demo ones that still have a fluid. Okay. It has this a little bit in it. in it. Actually, somebody gave, ha, huh, yes, I found it. Full ones. Love yes. them. Let's see if I can up here. Do I have any that have powder in them still? Not you. Maybe this one. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, if not, then we'll improvise. Okay. Just pretend like there's white powder in each of these. Gotcha. So your dosage for this is two vials. So what that means is you're going to have one vial of sodium chloride, which is just, you know, the water that we use to dilute it. Uh -huh. And then two vials, the green ones, of Metapure. Okay. And these are both going to have white powder in it. Um, so this is one dose, so one day's worth. Wow. And then we're going to mix them, so I'll show you how to do that. I'm just going to get all organized over here again. Oh, that's fine. So all this is just one dose? Yeah. Now, you're not going to use this whole thing. You're only going to use half of this for one day. 
So I'll show you in just a second. You pull up one ml, but there's two mls in there. Gotcha. So you pull up one ml and use that to dilute these two. And then kind of just like once you're done pulling this up, just put it to the side so you don't accidentally like mix up the bottles or okay. anything. Then you can use the second ml for the next day. And is, is this one refrigerated after it's open? Because I know here does not need to be refrigerated. Manicure, okay. That one you can kind of put, you know, pantries somewhere cool, but in, like okay. just room temperature. So okay, let's get your needles. Now this big bird needle right here is not the thing that you're going to be sticking yourself <laughs> with, so just ignore how mean and intimidating it looks. So that looks like fun. Yeah, no. I have actually seen on some shots, like the depot shot, mm -hmm. the needle that comes on it that they want you to stick yourself with is this big, and I'm like, no. who would do that to somebody? So I always change the needle to something smaller. So I'm like, I, I can't justify sticking somebody with that unless it's Jeez. like necessary. Okay, so take this. Pop your little top off. Uh, usually you have an alcohol wipe or something, you can wipe it off. Yeah. Um, you're gonna take your uh, three milliliter syringe that they give you and screw on the big needles that come with it. Actually, yours may already come with the larger needle on it, so in that case you won't have to put the needle on it, but okay. um, it'll look something like this. Ooh, yeah, not fun. Um, take a little bit of air, pull it into the syringe, and then when you put this in here, inject the air into the bottle and then it'll just automatically give you the medication okay if you don't do that it'll be kind of hard to pull up it'll keep trying to get sucked back into the bottle gotcha. and that's just a pain so what you do kind of pull the needle a little bit like down to make sure that it's towards the bottom inside the fluid mm -hmm. so it makes it easier to get everything pull in and i want you to make sure that you have one milliliter so just wait for it to get to the little one right here okay and you can take this out and then put this to the side. You can use the rest of it for the next day, but just don't do anything else with it this day. Take the cap that's usually on this off, wipe it. There's usually white powder in here. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna inject this and it's just gonna automatically dissolve the powder. You don't have to shake it or anything. You can if you want to. Just make sure that everything's dissolved. And then once it's all dissolved, take like five seconds, pull down, like needle to the bottom. Okay. Pull all the fluid out. You're done with this, you can throw it away. Uh -huh. Take that, pop the top, wipe off. Press Let's all of that into one. it, okay. dissolve. And then let it all come in. That is not supposed to happen. <laughs> I let go of that too early. <laughs> this is why That's I get this off. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. It's all good. We know what's happening. We know what's happening. So, okay. Don't I was just going to say, I was like, your hands are so steady. <laughs> I pulled it all out. Pull it all out. Just pull it all out. Don't pull the needle out. Okay. Pull the fluid out. And then once it's all out of the bottle, you can throw that away. Press up. You're obviously gonna have more in there because yeah. it's flying <laughs> everywhere. But press it up, get the get the air out. Okay. And then recap the big road needle. Throw it in your sharps container. I'm just gonna put mine in there because I use it for demos. Put the little needle on. Pull this off. Oh, okay. Wipe your skin off. Uh, stick. Inject. And then you're done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No fun. Yeah. But now, <laughs> yeah. That. <laughs> now we have a little mess. That's all right. Yeah, now we have a little bit of a mess. The 26th. I guess it's gonna rain that day. <laughs> Wait, isn't the 26th today? No. Tomorrow. Today's the 25th. Tomorrow. Dang it. Yep. I was yeah. gonna say that could be good luck. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. Like weddings. Yeah. It's good luck, which I always think that's crazy that they say that because I'm like that. Would well, be see, such a I hassle, thought it was. I it? thought it was. It rained on my wedding day, uh -huh. but I liked it because they say rain is good luck, and also I lost my baby sister so she wasn't Aww. there so I I kind of attributed that to her okay. like Aww, her tears so and like kind of letting me know she was there that's really sweet I'm a sap 
Oh, but I'm I okay. Love you. Girl, me too. I'm like about to cry over here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but that is that is you know. We'll take it the as medications good as long as it doesn't spray everywhere. <laughs> that is the first time that has ever happened to me actually. So it's you should mean, feel very because I'm telling you, I'm gonna do that at home. I'm, and oh Ty's gonna be so mad at me. I'm glad you laughed about it though, because it would have been really awkward if you would. I home. would hope people could laugh. <laughs> yeah, some people like, just get really nervous, so they're like a little bit more like. It's because I take so many it. meds and get yeah. so many shots all the time. I have like the tolerance of a horse so I'm always oh, being God, stuck yeah. with something. You're ready for it, <laughs> Okay. Um, but that is uh, Minipure and Gonola F. Okay. Uh, well, which one is the Cetratide? Cetratide, I will show you, but okay. you won't start that Oh, that's right. You said that's when I won't maybe start. maybe like a week in, something like okay, that. Okay, so. Maybe like five days in. Um, they'll measure your E2, your estrogen levels, and once your estrogen levels get high enough, they'll realize, okay, your body's going to want to start ovulating soon because you've got so many follicles. All right. But that's not when we want you to ovulate because we want you to keep growing and growing. Um, so I'm going to be in an Easter so, egg basket? <laughs> basically. <laughs> yes, I like that analogy. Um, so we'll give you this one so that way you won't ovulate until we trigger you to ovulate. Right. So you're going to be doing two uh, injections, maybe like the first, what, six, seven, eight days, and then... Once he tells you to start doing this one, then this is what you do. Comes pre-filled syringe with um, distilled water, you know. And then you have your switch card. See, this one actually does have the powder. Oh, yeah, see. White powder. This is like what the men appear is going to look like, too. Okay. Um, now, I'm not going to uh, actually use this one just because this is my only one that I right. have. But say same basic concept. Um, going to have take that off a big needle that you're gonna pull it up with pop the top wipe it off mm -hmm. put this inject all the water into it and then let it dissolve you this one you might have to shake a little bit because it think looks like there's a little more in there okay. um, and then same thing turn it over not too far out <laughs> uh, pull it up and then once all of it's out Push out the air, you know, okay. just like tiny little drops to see it, and you'll know you got it all. I'm so gonna kill myself with these needles. Oh no, don't do that, don't do that. And then, <laughs> little one, and then, same thing, right in, tummy, and there you go. Okay. Okay, so this is how many times a day? So, after 4 p.m., so this is just once a day. Yeah, just once a day you'll give each other your do each other. You'll give yourself or the two the wife will give you the two shots. Okay. Yes. Uh-huh. Um right. so you'll have two shots once a day. I say usually put both like one side of your belly one day and then the next day also switch the other side just because you don't want to have like one over here and then one over here and then you've got bruises and it's sore, so at least just kinda of give it one side a day to rest. Okay. And then the estradiol yes. and the doxycycline. Right. Or okay. So I'm gonna. Let me do those ones first. Let me grab a. <coughs> excuse me. Let me grab one of these for you if you can just kind of explain looking at them. Okay. So you're gonna have some kind of a trigger shot at some point too. I don't know. Have you ordered one yet, or are you gonna get one from us? I have no idea. I don't know off the top of my head. Okay, if you don't have it, that's fine because we have it here. Okay. So you'll be fine. It's either going to be this or what we call Lupron. But okay, I think I have one of those. Okay, yeah, both trigger shots. Um, it just depends on how your levels react on how we choose which one you get. But same concept, it'll make you ovulate when we want you to. The um, estradiol and the endometrium. This is your estrogen and this is your progesterone. Those you won't need until right after the transfer, and those are just to kind of keep your levels up and stuff throughout any pregnancy that could result. Um, just your hormones are fluctuating so much, and some of them um, might even be a little bottomed out, so that will just keep any pregnancy going. So you'll probably okay. take those through maybe like the first trimester of your pregnancy, like 11 to 12 weeks. Um, and then the doxycycline, this is the antibiotic that you'll take before your transfer as well. So we'll tell you when to take all that. Okay. But just kind of, you know. I thought you told me to start taking that last week. The estradiol. Are you doing any kind of... <sighs> I'm confused. Hmm. But I guess 